my lovelies. Sorry about the noise in the background. Unfortunately, it's quite warm here in the UK. Um, so I've got my fan on and I've had to live with it because I am dying otherwise. Um, we've got quite stormy clouds. It's not tornadoes, but it's warm enough for me. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, chapter three of the, cro the Cherry Bakewell Crochet Along. So where did we leave off? Well, where we left off was right here with this white row here. But what I've done, I've raced ahead a little bit because you know what back posts are. So I thought you don't really need a video on that. If you do, give me a shout. I will get one done for you. Or I'll just refer you to where you need to look, which is probably in chapter two. So um, I have changed it slightly from my original design because I frogged it back. I wasn't quite happy. And now I've done this section, I am super, super happy. So we have um, a back post, which has then pushed our front post of our well stitch head of our white row forward and then we've just worked that in half trebles behind so it's a half treble front post and um, back post sorry um and then we have our um crikey i'm having a moment treble stitches here in the um because we've lost a little bit of that height because of doing this so to keep that height and to keep it more visible we have treble stitches in this row here um, in the mauve which will be the frost blue for you so don't worry it's all written into the pattern so you'll know which colour you're doing so I've done it in mauve that means you're doing it in frost blue from there we've then worked our moss stitches here and then we have worked into these shapes um, uh, sorry our shapes what am I talking about waffle 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 so the moss stitch is basically one double crochet with a chain and then you skip the one stitch below so any chain has a stitch below that you've skipped and then you work into the, the next stitch so and that gives you this lovely um moss stitch here we then worked half trebles two half trebles into each of these chain spaces to give us this lovely finish so i have everything written up on the pattern um that tells you how many stitches um that you need to Right, uh, right to know how many stitches per row so you can make sure you get this right so just make sure you're checking your rows and that they're all the same because I had a bit of an issue before I actually started gaining stitches on one one side not all of them one side so it does happen so I had to work out what I'd done wrong um, and then correct, no, modify and correct because I was not going to frog that back so I've made a couple of adjustments to my blanket you shouldn't have to do that to yours because everything, you should be following the pattern um, and not winging it like me, <laughs> even though it's in my head. Um, so yeah, so I'm just currently working on this section and I'm just going to end up doing another row of the Cupid, which will be the Ladybird red for you because after this stage, we're going to start working in those front post stitches. So this will be our background and then the Silver Mist, which will be your Amethyst will then be worked over it. So if you're working amethyst, it'll be like late blue. We've had so many changes on these colorways and I am so sorry for that. But unfortunately, there's not a lot I can do because Serdar, Serdar has discontinued some of those colors. So we've had to have some changes. So again, refer to the pattern on the blog to make sure that you're using the correct um, colors on the colorway that you're actually working at. So um, have a little notebook somewhere, have those colors written down. So that if we say a certain colour, you know that's the colour you've got to work in. So mauve equals frost blue, silver mist equals lake blue and amethyst. And cupid equals um, signal red or ladybird red, whichever it is that you're working on. So, right. So, yeah. So it's just a case of me working um, that row, which I think I've already started on this side here. So you can see how it's getting larger. Um, and then again we're going to work in that silver mist and then those front posts will work around um, like so so like I say the stitch counts and how many you should have of each um, stitch will be on the pattern in chapter 3 so yeah so I'm going to pause that and I will come back to you shortly